Hello, it's literally been months since I tore my machining corner apart and uh, like everybody else I get busy doing other stuff so I'm literally just now in late October getting my, got my mill back over here in the corner. I slinged it over which means I had to put my head upside down and uh, move the table all the way in for center of gravity so I could sling it with my cherry picker. So I just finished uh, doing the head and this is a method I haven't seen I'm sure it's not as accurate as some of the other indicators that other people use, but this is what my neighbor showed me. He's a machinist. Um, first thing I did was went over the table with a stone, sprayed it, or I cleaned the table, and sprayed it down with WD-40, sprayed the stone down with WD-40, and lightly went over it, and it was all nice and glossy, except over in this corner here. Uh, there's a couple shiners there that I took off, so... That's, I understand, a good thing to do every now and then. And then uh, this method my neighbor showed me since I had a center indicator. Uh, it works for me and it fly cuts pretty well. I put the longest arm I have over here, which gives me about 13 inches side to side. And then I take a nice clean one, two, three block and I'll put it under this side. And let me just bring that up to 45. I understand you don't want to really load indicators down too much if you want the most accurate reading. So there's 45. I'm going to use the same position on this stone, on this one, two, three block since it's an import. And let me bring that around to the other side. Uh, it took me quite a few minutes to do to get it down there, but I, I don't know. When I do stuff like this, I, I like to get it as exact as I can, and I try to nail it. So, you know, for 13 inch to read, you know, the line right on both sides, I think that's plenty accurate. So, for what I'm doing, I'm not building parts for the space shuttle. Actually, nobody builds parts for that anymore, unfortunately. Okay, well anyway, I'm getting this back together, and uh, I just figured I'd show this method real quick, because this is what my neighbor showed me, because it's what I had. I don't have an Indicol or anything, but for me it works pretty good, and you know, the fly cutting that I do, which is very minimal, it always looks gorgeous, so I just trust this method, and it uses stuff that I have. Okay, thank you. Bye.